All right, um, this is a quick video on uh, Akai MPK. You know what I'm saying? The Mini Plus. This is like this is probably like a, a Mark IV, but I just want to see like the reasons of why it's better. You know, why should I buy another one? But you know, as you can see, there's more keys on there, so you know, there's definitely one reason. But we'll see. You know, but for now, we what we got here? We got the price. The Guitar Center it says that it's one sixty nine, so the average like MPK is about like ninety nine bucks like for a mini. But I don't know if these are yeah these are mini. This is a mini, so it's a mini plus, which is more keys and more more stuff. But you know we're gonna go over to to Kai's YouTube and I'm just gonna get in depth and you know get more knowledge of what's what's the the big hype you know and maybe i might get one but maybe i don't need one we'll see and as a matter of fact it might even go well with with the with the npc lives and all the other stuff so let's see to this overview of the brand new mpk mini plus our latest addition to the world's most popular controller keyboard MPK Mini Plus features 37 premium mini keys built for dynamic performance with pitch bend, modulation, and XY joystick with eight MPC pads. For okay, yeah, so I see that there's definitely one one thing that weren't on the other ones, the other minis, and it's the um, yeah, the the joystick with the pitch bender and the modulation. So that wasn't on the the original one, which is a good thing. So that's that's dope. Mini keys built for dynamic performance with pitch bend, modulation, and XY joystick. With eight MPC pads, fully backlit for beat makers, a two-track standalone polyphonic step sequencer with CV gate, clock, and MIDI connections, eight onboard assignable encoders, an OLED display for visual feedback, an onboard arpeggiator, no step sequencer with oh. CV gate, clock, and MIDI connections. Oh snap, we got a whole bunch of inputs and outputs in the back. Track standalone polyphonic step sequence dope. with CV gate, clock and MIDI connections. Nice. An onboard assignable encoders, an OLED display for visual feedback, an onboard arpeggiator, note repeat, and a full transport control for DAW integration along with chords and scales mode. Yeah, so this thing is definitely loaded and it's kind of like... Like if you had an NPC Studio, the uh, NPC Studio 2, but then this is like with the keys, so, but it's going to be, it's still going to be less pads, so, you know, I'm, I'm figuring like, no, nah, it's actually dope, I'm not going to lie, the the price point is, is actually affordable, you know, so, maybe with tax it's probably almost 200, who knows, but. Let's take a closer look at MPK Mini Plus. MPK Mini Plus features 37 premium mini keys built from our new enhanced dynamic second gen keybed with a dedicated sustain input delivering the ultimate fill over three octaves. You can play everything from lush chords to bass lines and lead melodies. For those bass lines, you have a dedicated pitch bend, mod wheel and XY joystick along with octave shift up and down. Now let's drop a bass line over this beat. As I move the joystick, I've got this assigned to my cutoff that really opens up the sound. You know, another thing I want to see what it comes with too. Like any type of expansions and stuff like that. Uh, I guess we will see when we buy it. Per step, using our drum pads. So let's start off with step one. And we're going to use our kick drum. Now let's add our clap. Followed by our hi-hats. As you can hear, we're also adding velocity drum. Hold on. So we see... Now that we've entered our D's and chord progressions across up to 64 steps. So let's start our step sequencer, and now we're going to scroll through each step, step and enter a note directly from our keyboard. Now that we've entered our notes, we have a pattern up and running. Now to erase notes, just select the step 
hold down shift, and then the key that you played. Now we're going to use our drum sequencer, which can sequence up to 16 notes per step using mm. our drum pads. So let's start off with step one, and we're going to use our kick drum. Now let's add our clap, followed by our hi-hats. As you can hear, we're also adding velocity levels to each step as we program in our hi-hats. Now let's add our rim shot, and let's use our assignable encoder to add some real-time control. Okay, so that's dope. You could use a, a synth, you know, an out, outboard synth to use, use along with it. So that's, that's definitely dope. Now to save your patterns, simply hold down shift and press any of the pads, followed by enter, and you can now save your performances. You can also clear both your keyboard and drum patterns. M oh, that's dope. So they're making these things like way more advanced and, oh, that's actually dope. I'm with it. Now to save your patterns, simply hold down shift and press any of the pads, followed by enter, and you can now save your performances. You can also clear both your keyboard and drum patterns. MPK Mini Plus includes eight MPC pads, fully RGB backlit, velocity sensitive for laying down your beats and drum programming. You can also use the dedicated transport control with the included MPC beat software to lay down your production ideas instantly with seamless integration. Now let's lay down a beat. MPK Mini Plus can integrate with all popular DAWs okay. so you can create your ideas with ease. Plug into MPC Beats, MPC One. Yeah. Team Ableton, baby. Team Ableton. That's where it is, but... Yeah, it's actually a... Def it's, it's a big upgrade for like 70 more dollars from the original MPK, so... That's what's up. You know, something to look into in the future. You know, it's affordable, so it's like it's not like that big that that big sixty one key joint, you know, but yeah, you know, we could I think it's a win for Akai, so definitely, you know, but that's my thoughts on it though. It's Dame the Real Productions signing off. Peace.